What's going on, y'all? Another edition of Catfish, Season 5, Episode 3, Leah and Justin. So, let's get right into it. It was a... It was an old... No, let me stop playing. Um, I don't know. Maybe because... I don't know what. By the time I started looking at this episode of Catfish, like, 15 minutes in, I just knew it really wasn't going to be much to go off of. Like, it ain't make me laugh. It ain't give me no giggles. I thought the dude was a douche. I will say that. And I really do feel like the girl, Leah, you deserve so much better. But hey, if that's what you want, that's what you want. So let's get into it. I don't recall how old Leah is, but... She still stay at home with her mother, and um, she's in New York, Rochester, New York. She has this Instagram account. I think she do have a Facebook, but she said it's only for like her friends, her real friends, and her family and stuff like that, which is understandable. Um, so she was on Instagram this day. And all of a sudden, this dude likes one of her pictures and was like, hey, girl, you look cute. She was like, hey, <laughs> I was cute. Okay, thank you. And he was like, you know, so what's up? So we get to talking and all that stuff. And I gave him my number and I was like, oh, he likes me. That's basically how they went. So they was talking like for a couple of years or so. And he's out in Huntington, Huntington Beach, California. She is claiming to be so in love with this guy that she has never met. She said... You know, I don't know anyone. I've never met anyone in my life like him. I was like, that's true because you never met him either. <laughs> I'm just saying, you never met him either. And, um, you know, she has gotten to the point where she is literally about to, she was going to um, her college career. She was picking colleges just to be around him, just to be close to him. I'm sitting here like, now, that would have been cool if I would have saw him putting forth the effort or they would have said something about him putting forth the effort to, you know, see this, uh, catfish give um, online relationships a bad name because there are some online relationships where people le legitimately have issues with their cameras and stuff like that, but eventually they get that shit together and you see both parts, both people in that relationship taking equal efforts to see each other, Okay. So, we're going to FaceTime, we're going to do all this, and, you know, even though you live here, you live there. So, on this holiday, when I get some money up, I'm going to come fly out there, and we can kick it out there where you stay at. You can meet my family and all that stuff, if they at that point yet. And then, you know, um, I fly out there and meet you at this place, and you can meet my family. And this shit works. Okay, I have no problems with stuff like that, because y'all actually meeting each other, Y'all actually looking at each other, y'all seeing each other, and eventually you touch and all that stuff, you know. But this shit right here, you are planning your life around somebody that you have never met. You literally trying to stay out there. You going to college out there so you can be next to him. Girl, no. No. Okay? My advice, if he was real, you go out there or he come out there and y'all meet each other. And, and y'all try to spend at least a few days or whatever around each other so y'all can get to know each other. And then y'all do that at least a couple of times before you permanently decide that you're going to be out there. You know what I'm saying? I was like, because you can get out there. You put your whole life on the line. You're going to say, oh, my God, I'm going to go get some colleges. And I'm going to go to this school out there in California so I can be close to my boo. And then you be out there for a week and it's over. Because he fucked around, he ain't who he said he is, you know, you see a different side, or he just don't want you. Okay, um, oh my god, my nose, my sinuses, I apologize if I sound stopped up or whatever, it's cold. It's that time of the year, the weather is so fucking lovely outside, so lovely, it's been so warm outside, okay, and it's just... Sinuses, if y'all got sinus and allergies, y'all know what it is. I ain't got allergies, but my sinuses, child. Um, so I apologize. So she go out there talking to Neve and stuff about the situation. Her mama and uh, her friend was in the kitchen there when they finally found all the information because they found everything so quick. They found it so quick. You know, they talking about the text messages. He said they can't, um, uh, you know, his computer don't have a video webcam. I said in 2000, what? Y'all don't have that? I mean, okay, but you got a phone. Your phone got something. 
I'm just saying there are ways. You mean to tell me you couldn't spend twenty dollars to go get a webcam and attach it to your uh computer? Cause some computers don't have a webcam, but you can go buy webcams for twenty dollars at the least, you know, or probably less. Okay, if you want a cheap thing, you know, just buy one. It's no real excuse. Okay, and so she was like. They left it to me, and she just seemed very, very naive to me. And she left the information to me and Max, and they go and they look up the phone number. The phone number come out to this lady named Rita, which they figure was his mother, because it was the same address, it was the same place, all that stuff. Um, she never went and searched and see if he had a Facebook. I would have did that at first, okay? Just because he said he didn't have one, that don't mean, or he didn't mention it, that don't mean that he don't really have one, okay? And so he, they went on ahead and found some Insta, his Instagram. Bitch, speaking of Instagram, when they was at her house, this was the funniest part to me at the beginning. She was like, oh my God, let me show you his pictures. They was like, let me show you his Instagram account. Girl, she put took it open and then she was like, oh my God, he just blocked me. <laughs> I was sitting here like, bitch, that's embarrassing as fuck. She was like, oh my God, I literally just got off his shit like an hour ago. And so he just blocked me? What the hell? And they was like, did you tell him, tell him about catfish? I mean, no. I mean, but... I did talk to him about, you know, writing into it or whatever. And I said, well, bitch, that's why he blocked your ass. <laughs> I was like, oh, that is so embarrassing. But they found all this information. They found his uh, his Instagram. It's private. But they Google searched this Instagram and found pictures of uh, him being tagged and other people's stuff. You know, she said she was, uh, he talked about his friend Todd or whatever. And so... They found the picture of Ty. They found Ty's Facebook and all this stuff and left the message for him to call. And they actually found dudes, Justin's Facebook. And I was like, mm, that motherfucker got a Facebook that right out there in the open. And then he had literally just updated something. And this girl had, it was a picture that he put up. And she was like, handsome. And he was like, thanks. And it was like, smiley faces and all that stuff. Kissy face, no hard smiley face. And so they reached out to her because they were like, oh, this is flirting for somebody who's supposed to be in a relationship. So, they reached out to Ty. Ty was like, hey, yeah, Justin's my friend. He was like, do you know him to be dating or speaking about some girl named Leah? He was like, no, but uh, I'll get back to you. Jamie hit them back up and was like, what are you talking about? What's going on with Justin? Give me a call ASAP. I was like, oh, come to find out Jamie is from Kentucky. Jamie's been flirting on and off with um um Justin. And to Jamie's recollection, she is in a relationship with him and been in a relationship or whatever to her knowledge for years too. You know, she wanted to move out there. He wants, she was like, we was talking about moving out there, moving out here. And she was like, I know he not going to come out here to Kentucky and all that stuff. And she was real country with it too. So I was like, damn, she was like, that's fucked up because they told her about, you know, she was like, I love him. I love Justin. And they told her about Leah. And you could just hear it in her voice that she was pissed. And she was like heartbroken that quick. I said, so this motherfucker's out here playing everybody. Okay, he's not designated to one person. So they tell Leah all this. Her heart sank, of course. She's looking like, ain't this a bitch? And, you know, when they had told her mama about him, they was like, what if he's really who he is and all this stuff? Would you be okay? She was like, no. I need to sit down and talk to this boy. Me and him face to face. Ask him some questions about some shit that's been going on. I said, that's how you do it, mama. You check up on your girl. Okay, don't just let any Tom, Dick, and Harry come on up in here and just take her. Because you don't know what the fuck he doing or who the fuck he is. I said, that's right. And um, mama looked like she was like, I ain't got time for this bullshit. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be nice and I say what I really want to say. Because I know my daughter on some fuck shit. You know, because we don't do no shit like this. What's wrong with going outside and getting a nice young man that's right there? Why you got to do it online? That's what the mama looked like she wanted to say. So, um, what else happened? They decided to call him. <laughs> and they let him know, this is me from Catfish. Have you ever seen the show Catfish and all this stuff? And he was like, yeah. And it was like, we want to talk to you about Leah and all this stuff. And he was like, you know what? I don't want to do this. I don't want to be on the show. I'm not finna talk to her like this. No, we ain't me. You can't come out here 
I just don't. Tell Leah I'm sorry and I will talk to her later. And then he hung up. And I was like, oh, so it's right off the back. I'm sitting here thinking that he ain't who he say he is. And then, you know, Neve, like I said, Neve got balls, okay? Neve got balls because <laughs> he already just walks up to people's doors and, and unprotected and everything. I don't care about them camera crews being back there because, bitch, they can get it too, okay? All it takes is just one fucked up person to be aiming outside and just pop, 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 you know, especially when you're in the hood. But Neve going to tell her, if you want to come out here and go do it, we can go do it. I said, Neve, don't get that girl hurt. Don't get her cussed out. What you doing? Putting her in harm's way. Nee said, fuck this shit. We finna get on a plane. And we gonna go out there to California. And we gonna see this motherfucker. If he want to or not. It's not up to him. It's up to us. I said, you know, go at your own risk, Nee. They get out there. Nee go up to the house. Nice looking house. And this older man comes out. He was like, um, does Joe live here? He was like, yeah. Uh, I'm his father. He's not here at the moment. It was like, yeah, uh, he's been talking to this girl named Leah. That's supposed to be his girlfriend or whatever. And it was like, Leah, hmm, can I go outside and meet her? And so he comes out. Leah freaking out in the car like, oh my God. Oh my God. That is not him. Is that him? I cannot believe this. And so Nia comes to the car and was like, this is his dad. Justin's not home, but he wants to meet you. She was like, oh my God. Okay. How do I look? How do I look? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Hi, how you doing? He was like, so you're Leah. You know, I've never heard anything about you. So this is the girl that Justin's with. You know, he's not here at the moment, but I should make sure that, um, you know, I'll tell him that you stopped by. And she was like, thank you. And I was like, that was nice of daddy because daddy held it in because I would have been like, so this the bitch? Oh, okay. You know, the mama probably would have been like, you know how mamas is when they sons, with they sons and shit. They overprotect as fuck, some of them. But, uh... <laughs> They was waiting, never showed up, go back to the hotel, and they tried the next day. Never got a response back from Justin. Justin was being ever much the coward, if you ask me, and um, it just pissed me off. You can play these women, because I believe that he was playing a lot of them. The way that he was acting, he just seemed very shady, but you can't, you know, stand up to what you was doing when you get confronted. That was irritating me. And I was sitting here like, this is the type of person that you want to be with, Leah? I know you've been talking to him for a minute, but still, he is showing you his character a little bit. So they called Ty, his friend, and they was like, you know what? I just left him. We just got through surfing like 15, 20 minutes ago. And it's a Pier 15 or whatever on the so-and-so side. He probably over there right now. You probably can still catch him. So sure enough, he was sitting out there smoking a cigarette with his surfboard. They go walk up on him. He looking like, what's up? Like, everything all good. I'm like, so it really was Justin. They hugged and embraced. And he was basically like, I just didn't want to do all this in public and on TV because I seen the show. I didn't want to be embarrassed. I see how the people look when they on the show. You know, I'm going out to bars with my friends and they picking up girls that way. And how does it look that I have to pick up a girl off the internet and all this stuff? And she was like, but I you know, made two trips, tried to come down here. We was down in California once, and I went to the place that you told me to meet up with, and you never got back to me. Then, when I was out here in Vegas or whatever, we was going to um, hook up, and you talked about something. Your car wouldn't go all the way out there. And he was like, that was true. My car wouldn't go out there and all this stuff. From that moment on, they gave them some time to speak. And even Max Max spoke up for Leah. was like, are you really in this? Because, you know, Leah, she, she, she a little naive. She's soft-spoken and all that stuff. And she was like, what? And he was like, you are, baby. But let me just, I'm going to talk on your behalf right quick. I said, just let him talk because he's going to get him together. He did a little bit. And basically was calling him out on his bullshit. So Leah uh, and Justin go talk. And she, you could tell that she was upset. And she was conflicted with her emotions on how to feel. She likes him. And she wants to be with him. But it felt like she wasn't believing none of the shit that he was saying. Like she had her reservations. And she was pissed off at the way that he um, handled everything. Max and Eve didn't make it no um, secret that they was not here for him. They thought that he was being shady. And thought that he was like having some stuff. And like he was, you know, being 
just telling her stuff that she wanted to hear. And then Leah came back and said the same thing. It feels like he's telling me something that I want to hear. It does not feel like he's being genuine with it. And I got that vibe too. So I was just like, Leah, let that shit go. He is not the right dude for you. And two months later, they still talking. They still talking. And she's still already about to move out there in a the month for school. Girl, I guess. That was catfish, y'all. It was okay. Uneventful. Anticlimactic. But, you know, hey, it is what it is. Uh, next week, Catfish comes on Wednesday and Thursday. So, we're going to get two episodes. So, you're going to get one Wednesday and you're going to get one Thursday. Um, I will see y'all later. Peace.